Welcome to the Gospel Road. We're going to look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 this morning. It says, Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians and God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought always to give thanks to God for you, brothers, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly, and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore, we ourselves boast about you in the churches of God, for your steadfastness and faith in all your persecutions, and in the afflictions that you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering. Since indeed God considers it just to repay with affliction to those who afflict you, and to grant relief to you who are afflicted as well as to us, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus." They will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might. When he comes on that day to be glorified in his saints and to be marveled at all, at among all who have believed, because our testimony to you was believed. To this end, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you, in you and him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Second Thessalonians chapter 1. And I want to look at 3 and 4 specifically. I mean, the, the, the rest of the chapter is talking about judgment and those who believe and who do not believe. But I want to look at giving thanks. I want to look at how you are really encouraging and lifting up another person around you. So in Second Thessalonians 1, they're talking about the church that is increasing in faith and growing abundantly and doing what they're supposed to be doing. And then they are thanking them for doing this. And on top of that, they're basically bragging. They're boasting. When they go to other churches, they talk about that. So when you are talking with someone you know, maybe it's someone in your family, who just does things exceptionally well. Someone at work, a co-worker that, is, that excels at their job. Someone that you know that really is putting out the effort and is really doing what it is that needs to be done and is showing to be successful with what they're doing. Are you thanking them? How are you treating them? Are you still encouraging them to help them to keep doing what they're doing, to keep raising that bar for themselves, to get to the next goal that they have set. It's an interesting thought because in here it talks about how they should be giving them thanks for what they're doing. And it makes me wonder if it says that they always should be giving thanks, is it a way that they're thinking they're not giving, they're not thanking them enough. For me, I've been in radio for years, over 20 years, since high school. And what, always depending on my boss, my program director, and I know many people have heard about our books, the numbers, you know, it was... Arbitron, now it's Nielsen that does these rating books. So they go through, they look at the numbers, they see what they are, and for the most part, I've had 
program directors that the book comes out, they say, here it is, look through it, see everything that you need to see, you know, very open, very transparent, wanting to know the good, they wanting to know the bad. But I remember when having a good book and then them basically thanking, praising me for having that. But then I also know others that are not that open with that information. In fact, you don't always hear from them how good you're doing. Now, whenever anything bad happens, you know you're going to get that call. But not always what you are excelling at doing. Now, even when you're excelling, you're still learning. You're still growing every day. We're never going to get to that point where we're going to know everything. Anytime you look at a life coach or a pastor or, you know, someone that is, you know, motivational speakers, you know, we're looking at Tony Robbins, you're looking at Robin Sharma, you're looking at John Maxwell, whenever you are reading their books, whenever you're listening to them speak, they're talking about you're growing every day, you're learning every day. The day that you stop learning is the day that you give up. So for me, I'm always growing. I'm always learning. I'm always seeing what is out there. I mean, there's always the information of what's happening in the world to create for me what my content is for my show. Also, watching others or listening to others that have excelled and they're still excelling every day to give me that inspiration, to give me that encouragement to keep moving, to, to, to better myself. And that's how we live our lives. That's how we need to be living our lives, both personally and professionally. We need to be really boasting about those that we know around us that are really exceptional about what they're doing, that are really able to take that step and move forward. But at the same time, we're doing this together because as one person is going up, they should be taking others with them because we're not doing this journey alone, even though it is our personal journey, which is ours, but we take those up with us. We take those steps. We are, you know, going up that ladder together with one another because it's not just what we can have for ourselves, but it's what we can do for us. That is then also taking someone else and encouraging them and lifting them to that next level for them to also excel for them also to do the best that they can and be the best that they can always, always, always encourage one another, always lift each other up, always thank those that are doing fantastic jobs so they know that it is being recognized because that is a huge part of encouragement as well as being transparent, not hiding things. We have good, we have bad. There's ups and downs, there's ebbs and flows. It happens. And just because something could be down is not always because of something that you've done. You always have to look at that and see why it happened. Maybe you'll have an answer. Maybe you won't have an answer. But just know not everything can change unless it's the stock market who can, you know, totally drop overnight. Most things don't change that quickly. Most things don't end that quickly. And you'll know if you're doing something wrong that you need to then tweak and change things. You'll also know that if you are doing something right and maybe things that you're looking at are just not showing you exactly what is happening. It's all about those conversations. It's all about being out there and talking with people and really having that conversation with those people. Second Thessalonians chapter 1. 
as I encourage you every time we talk to read it for yourself. See, this is what I'm getting out of it. This is what is was helping me on my personal journey that I'm sharing with you. And I'm sure your journey can be in a different place than I am. You can be either higher or still making your way up. So what you see in the chapter could be something different from what is really helping me to keep pushing forward. Thank you for listening to The Gospel Road. Have a great day. God bless.